Hello everyone, and welcome back to our training videos on ProPresenter 7. Today's video is about keyboard shortcuts. I've created this document about keyboard shortcuts for ProPresenter 7 and the Mac operating system. On the front page, you'll find ProPresenter 7 specific keyboard shortcuts. There's a note at the very top that says, assuming F keys are set up as default, otherwise add function when you see an F key. So most of our computers are not set up with F keys as default. We instead allow you to dim and brighten the display, play, pause, change the volume level on the top line of the keyboard. So if you see a function key, such as F1 that clears all, you'll have to add the FN key along with F1. So a couple of keyboard shortcuts to highlight within ProPresenter 7 would be Option M. This brings the cursor to the center of the screen, so if you can't find your cursor, it's a quick way to reveal where it is. Command 1 and Command 2. These will enable and disable the audience output or the stage output. So sometimes an output is unplugged, and now the outputs come to your main screen, and you can't figure out how to get rid of them, they won't disappear, and you can't get back to the main interface. If you use Command 1 and Command 2, it'll disable those outputs and reveal the interface again. Another important one is Command F, the all new search window inside of ProPresenter 7, and Control S, which will bring you back to that show view, that presentation view. So if you've gone to another window and you can't remember how to get back, you can always do Control S to get back there really fast. On the back side, the left column is for editing. A lot of these shortcuts will work throughout um, Mac OS, but not all of them. So one that's really important to highlight is Command Z. So if you've done something and you didn't really actually mean to do it, Command Z it will undo that function. But it's important to note that not everything in ProPresenter can be undone. So make sure that you pay attention to what is being undone so you don't accidentally undo something that you didn't mean to. If you add shift to that, you can redo whatever function you just um, said to undo. And then in the right column, we have Mac OS shortcuts. So these work throughout the operating system on your computer. One important one to highlight is Command Q, that will quit an application. And a great one to know is Command Tab. So if you hold Command and press Tab, you'll switch through all the different applications you have open. And then if you release, you'll be on that application. You can also add Shift to go backward through the list. So these are a few of the keyboard shortcuts for Mac OS, for editing, and for ProPresenter 7. I hope you find these helpful. We'll print them out and put them at each computer station. If you want to memorize them, you'll be able to to move through ProPresenter much faster, or if you just want them as a reference just in case you get stuck at some point, they'll be there waiting for you. Thank you for watching these videos, and we're excited to run ProPresenter 7 with you in the future.